Hey guys, and CSPN001 here. Welcome me back to the walkthrough for Fallout 3. I have no idea what part this is. I've sort of lost track already. So, anyway, uh, last time we scavenged oh, the mine deal. That little potato. I even brought you a present. My Make sure you have a landmine with you. Oh, it's so easy to get. Now. The whole place is a death trap. Oh, disarming it is real easy. Just jump up and down on it. You go first. I love her response to this. You think I'm an idiot? Yes. I may be a little impulsive, yes. but not an idiot. Wrong. I'll just take a look at this on my own. That I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a t Oh, yeah, she gives us the schematics for the bottle cap mine. Oh, my God, that's awesome. I mean, yeah, I never make them, but they're so powerful. Yep, you've done here for your services. She gives us some stim packs. Very nice. For example. Uh, I suggest starting out with the uh, injuring myself. Well, I never get to, but I'll, I'm. This one's actually pretty oh, easy to do, and I'll show you how to do it, so don't worry. Let's see what she's got for sale, though. So we have to injure ourselves, which is really, really painful. Uh, we have a lot of frag mines, though, and we really don't need that many of them. I'm only keeping a large number of them in case we end up running into a death wall or a Yao Gai, because trust me... Well, no, we got three bottle cap mines, so that's going to help anyway, but still, trust me, you don't want to run into a death claw this early in the game. It's not fun at all. You're going to want to kill yourself. Believe me, it's one of the most painful things you can ever run into in this game is a death claw early on, at least. Take all those. So what she's got in ammo. Take those and those. We can sell those. Yeah, I'll sell a few of the energy cells just to make up for it. Since you're never really going to be... You guys will see that I never really use the energy cells. So basically, what I'm going to end up doing, though, is I'm usually going to be selling the energy cells because they aren't really helpful. But you have to be careful, though, with selling those because if you end up stocking up, like, five or 600, like I sometimes do, usually sometimes even more than that, they take forever to trade. It's not bad when they're only worth one cap a piece, but when you get them up to being worth two caps a piece, you actually take, like, it takes, like, ten minutes just to sell all the, just to sell just the right amount to one city. Okay, so we have to receive a crippling injury, but as soon as we do this, I promise you guys we're headed off to Operation Anchorage. And we'll actually have to talk to her one more time and unlock one other item. This one's pretty easy, though. It's painful that you have to kill your... Well, not kill yourself, excuse me. This is something I'm a little bit uh, worried about, though. I don't want to risk killing myself. Okay, we just got an auto save, so we're okay. There's a good chance I'm going to end up killing myself with this. Please. Screw you. Okay, frag mine. Set it out. Set two frag mines out. Make sure they're armed or else it won't work. You can't just drop them. It will not work. I'm going to hate myself for this. Actually, you know, I better only use one at a time. Yes, I crippled myself. Very nice. Okay, I'm crippled. But now I have to drop my health to below 50%, which is probably the... No, well, I would say that's probably the harder part. Because it's hard to walk around with both a crippled injury and less than 50% health. Because you'll move a whole lot slower, probably, because it's usually going to be... Your, usually your legs are going to be the ones that get crippled. Sometimes maybe your chest. I'm not really sure what happens if you cripple your chest, but I know that if you cripple your legs, you move slower. If you cripple your arms, you can't aim as well. If you cripple your head, everything just starts working less well. I knew I didn't need... Well, I guess if I used two frag mines, this would be going faster. Uh, jump off of here. Oh, That's a good way to hurt yourself. I'm just not sure I want to jump that high again. Jump off something that high again because, well... I don't want to run out of health. Are you serious? I'm that close to having enough damage and I just don't have enough. I had a lot of trouble doing this on my last playthrough. Believe me, it was painful. It took me forever to finish. Ugh. Please tell me I'm below 50% health now. I've got to be. Yeah, I'm below 50% health. West hasn't updated, though. Okay, that's weird. 
I guess let's just jump off one more cliff. Come on. How many more times am I going to have to jump off of something? Or this quest updates. I know I'm injured at 50% and I'm crippled. Why did that not even hurt me? I had this exact same issue on my last playthrough. I just could not manage to get both to happen at once. If this fails, I'm just detonating two frag mines under me at once. It'll be easier. There we go. Okay, that took long enough. It took like seven minutes. Okay, six minutes, whatever. Okay, that one would be easiest just to buy, just to detonate two frag mines under you would be the easiest thing to do. Well, she'll fully heal us, so that's kind of nice. Hey, Sheriff, can you get this crazy woman to leave town? She's trying to kill me, I swear. Oh, well. Well, how do you... This really hurts. Oh, I know it does, dear. It's not for a good cause. Now, the people... how would... Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. And it does help. Look... Okay, I think oh. she'll give us something. How can you be walking around like this? You forced me to. Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face. I've got a finger to stick in your face, and I bet you know which one it is. Okay. Here, take this. A nice middle finger to stick in your freaking face. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effect of. Okay, that's actually not bad though. The medical, the environment suit's actually a decent radiation suit until you get one. Here's a. Okay, let's definitely do the mole rat repellent. This is actually kind of nice. But I'm. Basically with this, you have to use it on three mole rats for the regular objective, or seven, or ten, excuse me. And believe me, it's good having this. It helps since it's a one-hit kill of mole rats, which was actually not what she intended. But it never deteriorates, and it's a one-hit kill on mole rats, so it's actually not a bad weapon at all. I'm hotkeying it for that reason, so I can pull it out whenever we fight a mole rat. So anyway, with that... We can now begin aiding the outcasts. They're not too far away, luckily, so we're not we're not a horribly long distance away from them. By the way, most of the side quests, just so you know, will be excuse me. About, I'll probably be completing about ten or ten to twelve of the side quests actually after we have completed all the DLCs except for Broken Steel and before we have completed the main game will likely be when I actually uh, do that. So just keep that in mind. So it's going to be a long time until we start doing a lot of those side quests because the DLCs can take care of you pretty well. I mean, once you complete uh, op Operation Anchorage, you're set for life on armor. And once you complete uh, Mothership Zeta, you're basically set for life on caps after that because there's a very good trick to Mothership Zeta that'll allow you to keep making caps, as many, as many caps as you need. Basically, you just take the high-profile alien gear and then sell it to people in like Rivet City and stuff, and you'll make so much money. Believe me, it's like you're you're ridiculously well set once you complete that. You've got nothing to worry about once you complete it. Now it might be advantageous actually to go on and do following in his footsteps first. Holy crap! Four raiders. That's not good. And one of them has a. I think that's a combat shotgun. I think that's a combat shotgun. If that is, then I'm in trouble. It might be a hunting rifle, actually, though, which would actually which would be pretty nice to have at this point in the game. Hunting rifle is one of the most overall effective weapons in the game. That's a combat shotgun. I can tell by the way it sounds. I need some health. This is an ugly fight. I need to use something a little more powerful. We'll go with the assault rifle. No. 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 Okay, combat shotgun guy, you need to die. Okay, that rhymed. 
Yes, he's dead. Take that. See how powerful the assault rifle is? Oh my god, it's a beast. I mean, it's crazy. Brass knuckles. Ooh, brass knuckles. I might have to explain that at the end of the video. I can't remember if I've already have. If not, I guess we'll explain it at the end of the video. Yeah, assault rifle. Insanely powerful. But the combat shotgun is more important. Let's see how much ammo I've got for it. I think I've got eight shells. If I remember correctly. No, I have a uh, decent number. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take it. Switch back to the team leader pistol. So I gotta explain the combat shotgun and the brass knuckles. Fine. And we'll actually end up heading back to uh, more back to Rivet City before we actually begin the DLC. Though once we can actually get to a fast travel location. I could have sworn I took a different route to get there on my last playthrough. I might have circled all the way around Megaton or something, I don't know. Sometimes up here you'll run into a group of Brotherhood Outcasts, which are actually, they're the ones that you have to uh, talk to for this quest. I might want to actually listen to the radio broadcast just in case, in case it were like, mess me up or something. Tasty, clean, sanitizer, horrible spelling! Yeah, look, there's the some other outcasts. What do you know? I was right. This is a high priority message. Backup is needed at our location. Oh, he's got it. Ah, they're attacking a friendly enclave iBot and they can't even hit it. Good work. He's got a minigun. I would like to have that car dealership. Yeah, might as well explore it. Defender might be Morel. something in it. Any outcasts listening on this frequency report to Sector 7B, Bailey's Cross. The outcasts are this like basically the uh, people in the Brotherhood of Steel that location. left the Brotherhood of Steel because they didn't agree with their uh, leader. Please report at once. They think they carry on the true Brotherhood because the Brotherhood is the remains of the United States uh, Army and military. And basically, what happened is they basically put technology before human life, and they think it's more important, or they used to. But with the DC branch, uh, what happened was their leader, Elder Lyons, who we'll meet a little bit later in the game, basically started caring a lot about the civilians in the wasteland, and the Brotherhood outcasts don't agree with it. There was like nothing here. There was like no point in this building even being on the map. Anything over here? Nope. But yeah, basically, like they were concerning themselves too much with human life. At least that's what the Brotherhood outcasts think. I'll let them take out whatever that enemy is first. That Talon Company? Any listening on this frequency, no idea what it is. B, Hope it's... This is That's a Talon Company. Is at our yeah, it's gotta be Talon Company. What the? What? Holy crap, guys! Did you guys just see this? I ran into it in a glitch! Holy crap! The Enclave can't appear until after the quest, until the quest of the Waters of Life. Holy crap, I've never had this happen before. There is an Enclave soldier standing right here. Oh my god, I didn't even think that was possible, but the, and they can't even appear until the Waters of Life quest. Oh my god, that's awesome. Well, he has to die anyway. Oh my god, I have never had that happen before. That is so cool. He has a laser rifle. Oh my god, that's awesome. Plasma mines, microfusion cells, wow. I have never, I didn't even think that was possible. I just, that, I, the game like broke. I like broke the game or something. Oh my God, that's awesome. So after that epic freak out, I think that's enough for this video. Next time we will head on to the, to the uh, Outcast Outpost. See you guys then.